Welcome back to Based MMA. In this video, I'm going to be talking about John Jones. And John Jones has made a huge mistake. He has made a huge mistake. And he's made this mistake quite a while ago. John Jones should have retired when he defeated Surreal Gone in March of 2022. Because John Jones had a goal. And his goal was to become the heavyweight champion of the world. And he was able to do that at, in a very perfect fashion. Like he really didn't have a fight against Surreal Gone. Submitted him in the first round in very easy fashion. Like it was light work for John Jones. And to be totally honest with you, he should have retired. He should have retired when he defeated Surreal Gone because it is clear that his goal was not to be the heavyweight champion and defend the title. Like, clearly that wasn't his goal. His goal was to go after legacy, you know, winning that heavyweight title. And I know at the time he wanted to fight Stipe Miocic and that fight a year ago was kind of appealing, right? Because when John Jones defeated Surreal Gone in March of 2022, the rumor was that he was going to fight Stipe Miocic for International Fight Week of 2022. And when we heard that, right, we're like, okay, John Jones is going to be active. He's going to fight Stipe Miocic. It sounded kind of appealing, right? But as time went on and, you know, the fight got pushed to November and then we're like, okay, we don't really want to see this fight. You know, Stipe hasn't fought in five years. The last time we saw Stipe, he got folded like a lawn chair. What's the point of this fight? You know, Stipe isn't active. He's clearly not in the game, you know, anymore. The last time we saw Stipe, it's not like he's coming off a win. It's not like he's coming off like, you know, he won the title against Francis and Ngannou in the rematch. And then, you know, he had to relinquish his belt and now he's coming back. You know, Stipe right now doesn't have any aura. I guess that's the problem with that matchup as well is that Stipe hasn't fought in a while. And then he doesn't have any aura because the last time we saw him, he got folded like a lawn chair. And if we're being honest, most new MMA fans probably haven't seen Stipe Miocic fight ever. Like they probably haven't seen a live fight of Stipe Miocic. And it's more of a hardcore, you know, kind of fight. But at this point, even the hardcores don't even want to see him fight Stipe because we want to see the best fight the best. Like if you're going to become the heavyweight champion of the world, the title shouldn't your legacy, your ego shouldn't mix with the title. You should respect the title. Like if you're the heavyweight champion, it is your job to give the opportunity to the best guy coming up. It's not the job. Like if you want to, you know, if you want to go through your own legacy, if you want to, you know, satisfy your own legacy and get your own legacy fights and you don't really want to fight the best, you know, the best next guy, right? Because John Jones, he's smart enough to know that he's not in his prime, that, you know, he's a little bit older, that he's more prone to injuries, that there's hungry guys coming up and you're never going to be, you know, you're not always going to be at the top of your game. He's smart enough to know that, but he's not smart enough to know that, you know what, for me to be able to do that, I need to give up the title, especially now that he got injured last year and he hasn't fought in almost a year he should have like relinquished the belt and just fought Stipe Miocic for a legacy fight. And I feel like the fans would respect him more. But because he's hold on to the title, because Tom Aspinall has had to defend his interim belt, people now feel like John Jones cannot duck Tom Aspinall. And if you really think about it, John Jones really doesn't have an option because perception is very important. And if he fights Stipe Miocic and wins and then retires, People are going to remember John Jones as the guy that dug Tom Aspinall no matter what. Like he can't escape it because Tom Aspinall is the interim champion and they need to unite the belt. Like people are not going to forget that. And if he fights Stipe, it doesn't do that much for his legacy. Because like I said, it's all about timing. It's all about perception. And the reality is, is that right now, MMA fans don't really hold Stipe Miocic in a very high regard. Probably most new MMA fans probably haven't seen Stipe fight. So it's not like they really care about Stipe Miocic. And it also doesn't help that Stipe hasn't been active in the meantime. Like if Stipe would have been active, maybe fought a guy here and there and gotten a couple wins. And then you make that fight against John Jones. People would care more about it. But because we haven't seen Stipe in so long... It just feels foolish. It feels like a clown show to make that fight for the heavyweight title, knowing that Stipe is not even coming off a win. And I get it in terms of paper, you know, Stipe is the heavyweight gold on paper. 
But at the end of the day, the title isn't about that. The title is about the best guy being the champion. You know what I'm saying? It's not about, you know, picking and choosing fights. And then you're picking, choosing a fight against a guy that's not even active currently in the UFC. So I feel like right now, it doesn't do anything for John Jones to go out there and beat Stipe Miocic. In a way, he probably should, he probably sees it as like a tune-up fight. Right, because he's coming off an injury, and maybe he's like, you know what? I'm gonna look at CPM, which is kind of like a tune-up fight, but I know that I'm gonna have to face Tom Aspinall no matter what. Because at this point, guys, Jones is trapped. Like we won, we won, and that has to do with Aspinall's performances because he's been knocking guys out in the first minute because he's been submitting guys. You know, he just knocked out Curtis Blades. He knocked out Sergey Pavlovich on short notice. He beat Marcin Tybura. You know, he beat Sergey Spivak. Like. He looks incredibly talented, phenomenal, looks like a future heavyweight GOAT. And John Jones has nowhere to go because he knows that if he retires against Stipe, people are not going to let that go. People are not going to let that go. And to be honest with you, they have every right to because if you're the heavyweight champion, if you claim you're the heavyweight champion, you have to go against the next best guy. You can't hold up the division, especially coming off an injury. Like if maybe Jones, you know, would have fought a Stipe Miocic, you know, if Jones would have fought Stipe last November, then Aspinall wouldn't fought for the interim championship. And then Jones, let's say, would have retired against Stipe. You know, people wouldn't have said anything, right? Because they would have said, okay, Jones is retiring. Now it's Aspinall's turn to fight for the title. You know, Jones is leaving the game. But because Jones decided to hold on to the belt, right? Because he decided to hold on to the belt and then Aspinall fought for the interim championship because the UFC needed a title to promote that card in Madison Square Garden last year. Now they're stuck. Now Jones is stuck and he has to fight Aspinall because it's the only fight that makes sense. And like I said, he's trapped. He's fucking trapped. He's trapped. He should have retired when he fought Surreal Gone if his goal was just to become the heavyweight champion. And then, you know, give up the belt and then see maybe Stipe wants to fight. Then you could fight Stipe for a legacy fight, not having to do with the title. Like that would have been the best case scenario for Jones if he really doesn't want to face these up and comers. And I don't blame him for not wanting to face Tom Aspinall. I mean, Aspinall's fast on the feet, elusive, has a lot of power, has a ground game, you know, a stylistic nightmare, very well rounded, an anomaly, an anomaly of a heavyweight. Like he's an anomaly of a heavyweight. Like why would you want to face that guy when you haven't been active? You've only probably had like three, four minutes in the cage since 2020. You know, you beat a surreal gone that it wasn't really a fight. So it's not like John Jones really took that much away from his fight against surreal gone. And If I'm being honest, I don't think Aspinall's a guy that's going to roll over like Surreal Gone. I just don't see that happening. And the more and more we think about it, like Aspinall is obviously going to be, you know, John Jones. Like unanimously, most of the MMA community feels that Aspinall is going to be Jones. And to be honest, like it just makes a lot of sense, right? Jones is coming off an injury. He hasn't fought in five years. And people are going to say, well, it's John Jones. You really can never underestimate him. And I completely understand that. But when you think about his style, when you think about his striking, when you think about his boxing, I mean, his boxing isn't all there. His boxing isn't as good as Aspinall. Aspinall is more elusive, has more power on the feet. Jones, you know, has pretty good oblique kicks, really good leg kicks. But, I mean, he's not as fast as in heavyweight. You know, is he going to be able to take somebody down like Aspinall? Maybe. Maybe he will. I don't think so. I think at this point, Aspinall is going to beat the crap out of him. And I, if I'm being honest, guys, I think we won. I think we honestly won. I, I think Jones cannot retire without not facing Tom Aspinall because if not, the repercussions, I mean, people are always going to remember Jones as the guy that ducked Aspinall because the reality is most MMA fans, you know, they didn't watch John Jones in 2010, 2011 when he was getting those knockouts over Leo Machida and those submission wins and all that stuff. Like most people didn't watch John Jones' prime career. You know, his last fight, Dominic Reyes, very close fight. A lot of people thought he lost. Thiago Santos, it was a split decision. So his last couple of performances besides the fight against Surreal Gone weren't even all that impressive. Like if you go back and watch those fights, you don't think, man, that guy's really special. You don't, you don't fucking think that. I don't think that, you know, and I was a guy that, you know, I didn't see John Jones fighting his prime and I go back and watch his, you know, his last four fights and I'm like, man, this guy's super fucking beatable, like super fucking beatable, you know, probably should have lost against Dominic Reyes and I I think John Jones is a very smart guy. I think Jones is a guy that really cares about what people think about him and I think now he understands that, you know what, I'm stuck. 
I'm stuck. I have to fight Tom Aspinall. He has to fight Tom Aspinall. The only thing, the only thing I could see him potentially doing is saying, you know what, UFC? Make Aspinall versus Pereira, and I will fight the winner. Because he's gonna he's gonna use this angle. He's gonna say, you know what? Aspinall is not a big enough star. And I think a fight against Pereira would sell more and it would be a massive fight, even though that doesn't really make sense, right? Because Aspinall is the interim champion. Just based on that fact alone, he should have the fight against John Jones. But I could see Jones, you know, kind of telling Dana White in the UFC, you know what? Make Aspinall versus Pereira. The winner fights me. And at that point, if I lose against the winner, then it's still a massive fight. It would probably be the biggest fight of his career, even though I think... It would be still the biggest fight of his career if he fights Aspinall or Pereira. You know, I think obviously the Pereira fight would be a, a massive fight. But that's the only thing I could see John Jones potentially trying to do behind the scenes. But at this point, I think John Jones has to fight Aspinall. Like, he has to. He's trapped. He's trapped now because Aspinall is having incredible performances. Nobody cares about the Stipe fight. You know, Stipe hasn't been all that active. And if John Jones... His goal was to become the heavyweight champion. Then he should have retired when he fought against Surreal Gone. And when he got injured, he should have relinquished the belt, right? Because when you relinquish the belt, at least you're not holding up the division. And then Aspinall could fight for the championship. If you really want that stupid fight, they could still make that stupid fight for a legacy fight. It doesn't have to be for the title. But because John Jones decided to hold on to that title, now he has to fight Tom Aspinall.